Hey, what's up, guys? This is a brand new channel, and I'm going to be talking about college football. Every Sunday, I'm going to make a video talking about what happened that Saturday. So to start off, we're going to start off with Alabama. Alabama is a legitimate team. They, I don't see any challenges ahead of them in the playoffs at all. I think they'll win out. I think they'll win the championship easily because Nick Saban is one of the greatest coaches of all time. And then to top that off, they got a great freshman quarterback. They've got a great uh, D-line, and they've got a great linebacking court. I don't see how anybody could beat them unless Auburn beats them in the rivalry game, Iron Bowl, last game of the season. But it's in Alabama, so I doubt it'll happen. Next, we have Clemson. Clemson, I don't, I've never trusted them. Like, they've never been a legitimate team because... They were close with Auburn, Troy, uh, Louisville, NC State. They should have lost Florida State, they, and they just lost to Pitt. So I think they'll drop out of the top five, maybe. Maybe they'll be five. But if they don't drop out of the top five, then they'll be four. Like, the my problem with uh, Clemson is... They've been too close. They're like the Florida State when Jameis Winston was the quarterback. They're too close. Like, they didn't deserve to be undefeated. They had, like, three games that they should have lost. And I don't see anybody beating them down the road, so they should be going to the ACC championship game, and I doubt they'll lose that. So then they'll be in the playoffs most likely. Then we got Michigan. I don't know what to think about Michigan. Michigan... I don't know. They seemed legit, but to be honest, they haven't played anybody good but Colorado, and they barely beat Colorado. I mean, yes, they killed everybody, and Wisconsin. Yes, they killed everybody, but, um, like, they're playing, like, teams like Hawaii, UCF, uh, Rutgers, Illinois, Maryland, um, so I don't necessarily like completely trust them trust them to like go far in the playoffs. I think they're a solid team. I just don't know if they'll make it, especially in the game on the last game of the season against Ohio State. Uh at the, at, at the shoes. So if Ohio State could win that, um I think they're playoff worthy. But if Michigan wins that, then I think they're playoff worthy. Whoever wins that, I think, should go to the playoffs. Next, we're talking about Michigan's rival, Ohio State. Ohio State, after losing the Penn State, has looked so crisp on offense with the 62-3 to wins in back-to-back -back games against Nebraska and Maryland. The Nebraska win surprised me a lot. I did not expect them to be that good coming off a 24-20 win after, against uh, Northwestern. Northwestern has given everybody tests, but still, they're not even, like, 500, I don't believe. So, um, I was kind of worried after that game for them, but then they came back and just destroyed Nebraska. They demolished them, blew them out of the water. Even with Tommy Armstrong, I don't think they would have won that game. They have Michigan State and Michigan the next two games, and... I think they'll beat Michigan State pretty much for sure. And Michigan will be a great game. I'm excited to tune into that. As a matter of fact, Ohio State is now projected to win that game 57% because of Michigan's recent loss to Iowa. Next we have Washington. I don't like Washington. Let's just keep that straight. I think they're so overrated. They haven't played anybody good except Utah, and they barely beat Utah. Stanford wasn't isn't good, so they were number seven. But what are they now? Like, they're not ranked, and they're like three wins. Like, they're five and or seven and three. It's all right, but still, I don't think that's a good enough to win to put them in the playoffs. They beat Rutgers, who's terrible. They beat Idaho, who's terrible. They beat Portland State, who's terrible. They barely escaped Arizona. They beat Stanford, decent win. They beat Oregon 70-21. It was a good win, but, like, Oregon sucks this year. They don't have a quarterback. 
They got, just got wrecked by Stanford last night. And after Washington, I think we got to talk about Louisville. I don't know where to put Louisville. Louisville, I just don't know about them. Like, they were so close with Wake Forest last night that it could have went either way until, like, the last 10 minutes of the fourth quarter. They put up, like, 40 points. They were winning 12-10, 12-3 at halftime, and then something sparked for Louisville and just they just went off and won that game. But I think I don't think Louisville has a chance because they have to play Houston and Kentucky, and neither of them are good. Well, Houston's good, but I don't think it'd be a statement win. It would if Houston if Houston wins because then that could get them ranked again, but I don't really know because Houston lost a hard game to SMU, which is a bad loss, and they lost to Navy, but uh, Navy's been looking pretty good up late, beating Notre Dame. And next, we're going to talk about Wisconsin. Wisconsin, I think, is one of the best teams in the country because of their defense. Their defense is legit. Like, they hold people to under 30 every single game. The highest scoring team against them was Ohio State with 30. That defense is legit. They also can put up a lot of points with Alex Hornibrook and their running back, Corey Clement, who is rushing like 100 yards a game, multiple touchdowns a game, and they don't have a hard schedule to finish the season. So I think they'll win the division unless something happens and Nebraska can get it. But Nebraska has two tough uh, games, Maryland and Iowa, so I don't really know about that. Next, we're going to talk about Texas A&M. I didn't think Texas A&M should be at number four. That was so surprising to me when that first came out. I was so confused, especially after they lost Trevor Knight in the game against um, Mississippi State, that Mississippi State just demolished them. Like, it may have looked close on the final scoreboard because they made a comeback towards the end, but they just was... It was not, it was just bad. It was really bad. So, after they lost Trevor Knight, I knew their season was over. And they just suffered another loss to Ole Miss. Which will put them in the top 25, I think, for Ole Miss, maybe. We'll see, because Chad Kelly, I think, is out for the season, I believe. And their backup quarterback just put on a show last night. So, I think they could crack it. Ah, sorry, never mind. They're five and five. I thought they were like six and three. They're just playing for a bowl game right now. Uh, we're gonna talk about Auburn next, and Auburn is a good team on defense, but they can't score. They can't score at all. They have a great defense, but no offense. Their quarterback had twenty-seven yards last night. Like, that's not acceptable. They had one touchdown on offense that whole game against Georgia when Georgia won 13-7. And they barely escaped Vanderbilt. They could have lost Ole Miss. But their statement of the season was when they killed Arkansas 56-3. I think that turned their whole season around. Next up is the most surprising team of the season, Penn State. Who saw this coming? When you started the season and they lost to Pitt, well, you would think, are they barely even going to make a bowl game? They barely beat Kent State, and they lost to Pitt. Are they even going to make a bowl game? They barely beat Temple. They got destroyed by Michigan. They barely beat Minnesota. And then the Maryland game is when they had, they won by 24, and they had a bye the next week. Uh, to prepare for the Ohio State game. Nobody had gave them a chance in the Ohio State game. Not one person in this whole entire world except Penn State fans, who pretty much didn't give them a chance either. But somehow, some way, on a whiteout, they came through and shut down Ohio State for only 21 points. Although special teams did win the game because they blocked a field goal and they blocked a punt. And... 
that turned the whole game around and turned their season around because then they went on to beat Purdue 62 to 24. Then they beat Iowa 41 to 14. And then they killed it. Well, they didn't kill Indiana, but it was a 14 point game. But that, that game was really close, and it, it was just two garbage time touchdowns. And now they play Rutgers and Michigan State. But the thing about this is that if Penn State wins out and Ohio State wins out, Penn State is going to the Big Ten Championship game. Penn State, last year, they made the pinstripe bowl. No, sorry, they made, um, can't think of what it's called, but they played Georgia in the bowl game. Who would have thought the next year they could be in the college football playoffs? Nobody in the world ever thought that. That's surprising, but uh, they'll beat Rutgers, but Michigan State looked good last night against Rutgers, but still, it's Rutgers. So who knows? It's possible. But even if they make it, I still think they'll put Ohio State in over them because the two-loss team over a one-loss team, and the one loss, the two-loss team only has, like, one good win, and it's against Ohio State. So... Actually, the good win against Iowa because they just beat Michigan, obviously. And I want to talk about, to finish, um, I want to talk about how Western Michigan is still undefeated. I think they deserve to be a top 10 team. They're looking so good right now. They beat Northwestern in the off uh, non-conference season, and they just haven't turned back from that. They keep winning, and they keep winning and winning and winning. If they win against Toledo the last game of the season, I think they'll be, uh, be in a very good bowl game if they win out. I wouldn't count out the playoffs, but I wouldn't count them in the playoffs because um, I don't think anybody from a non-Power 5 conference school will make it. And actually, I also want to talk about West Virginia who um, I think is getting underrated by the uh, committee. They had a good win against Missouri to start the season. They beat BYU. They beat Kansas State. They demolished Texas Tech. They killed TCU. They had a bad loss to Oklahoma State, and that's where I think the committee doesn't like completely trust them. But I still like them, and I think they're totally in the playoff race, if you ask me. So, if they can win out against Oklahoma, West Virginia, and Baylor, I think they'll make the playoffs. And if they win the... If they, um... win the Big 12 title, then I think they got it. But... I guess we'll see. So my projected top four for this week is... Number one, Alabama. Number two, Ohio State. Number three, Louisville. Number four, Michigan. Tune in every Sunday around 12 o'clock for the next episode. Bye.